been about five years since I first released the Warble, and I'm excited to announce a new version that includes many of the feature requests that I've received from users over the past several years. I'm calling this new version Warble 2. The main new feature is BLE MIDI for wireless communication with your devices. Of course, it also still has USB MIDI. The USB connector is located in the back. It's a USB-C connector now. It comes with a right angle cable that plugs in like so. Just like the original Warble, it is MIDI only, so it doesn't produce any sound on its own. So you'll have to connect either by BLE or USB to a device like a phone, iPad, or a computer uh, running a MIDI app to produce the sound. One reason the USB connector is located in the back is that there is now a built-in bell sensor for Ilan Piper, so there's no longer a need to buy a separate bell sensor. The battery is also located in the end of the device here. It is a little tiny nickel metal hydride rechargeable. It recharges by USB. And despite its small size, it gives at least 10 hours of playing time. And it should have a lifespan of at least a few years. At the end of its life, it is replaceable by the user. And you can order one of those from me or online for just a few dollars. To turn the new version of the Warble on, you can plug it into USB or click button 3 on the back. The LED will flash green when you do that. To turn it off, you can unplug it or hold down button 3 for 3 seconds. The LED will flash red. It'll also turn itself off after a period of inactivity, which by default is 5 minutes. You can change that time in the configuration tool along with a host of other settings. Uh, the original version of the Warble, of course, works with the new version of the configuration tool. Some of the new features in the Warble 2 include a much faster processor with a lot more storage space, the ability to do drag and drop firmware updates, so the Warble can become a USB drive, a thumb drive, which you just do by holding down button 1 when you plug it in. It'll turn into a drive and you can just drag and drop the firmware update onto the device. It also has the ability to completely customize fingering charts, so you can create your own chart that has a MIDI note for each of the 256 possible fingering combinations, which you can upload in the configuration tool. So it makes it much more easy to create your own completely new fingering chart. Another important new addition is an inertial measurement unit, IMU, which has an accelerometer and gyroscope, which can sense the movement and rotation of the warble in three dimensions. Using the configuration tool, you can map the roll pitch or elevation angle and yaw or compass direction of the warble to MIDI control change CC messages. You can also do a few other things like produce vibrato by shaking the warble. Here's a quick example where I'll be playing vibrato by shaking it and also controlling the volume of the sound by changing the elevation. Another thing you can do with the IMU is to play up to five registers just by tilting the warble. Here's a quick example where I will be controlling volume with breath pressure register by tilting the warble and playing vibrato by shaking. I just want to quickly thank three gentlemen, Michael Eskin, Randy George, and especially Jesse Chappell, all of whom helped a great deal with the coding and testing for this version of the Warble, and it wouldn't be uh, what it is today without them. Thanks for watching.